Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you all the secret places in GTA 5 online. So to start with, I'll show you all the four places that are in the airport. So the secret I'll be showing you is this building here. So around the back of the building there are some stairs and then when you go up them there's a door right at the top and you can go through it. So there isn't really much, that much in here but it's just a little place you can go in, maybe to hide from people, maybe creepers or something. You've got a ladder here and you can go to the roof. So the next place is in Devon Weston's hangar which is just there on the map. So on the left side of the building you'll notice a little gap here and you can go in this and there are double doors here you can go through this leads to some sort of locker room and the back here storage room I guess and another exit out here around the back of the hangar so on the other side of the entrance just there you can go up some stairs down there and there leads to some double doors here and this is a go in these it's not really much at all, we just go up some stairs, then it leads to a roof. And there are some more stairs here. They can't lead to the same thing. But it's also a secret worth talking about. There are more double doors here. It's not very really much different to the other place at all. But there are some different corridors you can go in. And also two people sitting down. And this place also leads to the rooftop. So the next place is in Larry with the centre, which is just there. There's a place up here you can go in. You can go in double doors here, there's something like a control centre. So when you go up here, there's another set of doors here. But watch out because sometimes the Merryweather guards get a bit angry with you. So at the end over there, some helicopters come north and spawn. And for some reason they want to kill me. But as you can see, there is a buzzard here that you can let it spawn. So the next bit is over by the pier. This bit you need to have an SUV to do this. So at the pier, just here, you need to have an SUV parked like this. And you can get up there, but it's quite difficult to. Okay, so I managed to make it up here. And you can run all the way along the pier. There's a bit on the side as well. This is only as far as you can make it. But there is a bit around the other side of the pier you can get onto as well. Stupid voice cracks. So we're now at these stairs, you get an SUV parked like this. Then you can jump up here. Where Ben is, which is just there on the map. To do this, you need a vehicle that can go into Ben is, just like this one. So, you leave your vehicle parked like this, that, therefore, the um, vehicle doesn't go in, but you can still go in. 
This is what the inside of bears looks like when you're just a normal player going in. So now let's move on to the next thing I'm going to show you. So for this one, it needs to be over here in the Vine with Hills. You can get out and you can actually go inside this bush. So at this gate here, you need to go and stand on this bit here and just fall down into the bush and no one can really see you. It's a good hiding spot as well, except my shoes down there. So the next one is at LSC or Los Santos Customs. And when you can when you get a car, you can go inside here, much like the Benny's one. So when you park the car here and this opens, you can actually go in. So there isn't very much in here. It's pretty cool. The next place is the mines, it's just there on the map and you have to blow this up to be able to get in. So Sam would you do the honours? Struggling a bit. Right, I think I'll, I think I'll just get out and do it, I think it'll be easier. Just put this high in. And this is how you get in. So it's actually really dark in here, so I'm going to put my night vision on. And activate. Here we go. So I go in here. I'm going to go first person. So there have some been, have been some like weird haunted myth things about this mine. But it's a pretty cool secret place to go in. This here, you can just blow it up. Still sounds strong. So let's go to the other bit. So again, it's blocked off, you can see the rocks behind it. And you can't blow that up either. So let's go back and go down the other path. I think this path is a little bit longer. Quite weird noises as well, and the wind that goes through the tunnel. So this bit here, can't blow that open either. You can see, still sounds strong like the other one. Let's go down here. This is the same, there are rocks behind it. I can't blow it open either. And down here ends the same way like the others. Blocked off path. This one is quite weird because there are bits behind it. You can clearly see that it goes on. Maybe that might lead to something in the future. I don't really know. 
I'm sure you can go through this somehow. So in that you could clearly hear that there was a wind, and the only way for there to be a wind is another entrance or an exit. So I might go and find that in a minute and show you where that could be. So this, I believe, is the other entrance or exit to it, but I don't think you can get inside it. But like the other one, it looks like there is something underneath there, or you can go through it. Can't really see it now because it's burning, but I'm sure there's something through there. Also, if you ever want to explore this, it's just there, near the Sandy Shores airfield. I just realised, because we're in the desert now, I think we have to change my style into... Where is it? Cletus boy. Now let's go over to the next bit, which is actually just this airfield here. So over here where like the hangar is and stuff like that, let's jump out. This little control centre here, and you go up the stairs. You can actually go in here. It's not that like, exciting in here, just a mini control tower, but I still count it as a secret. So the next place we need to go to is Fort Sankudo, and if you have a hangar, you'll be able to get into there easily. But otherwise, um, if you don't have a hangar, it'll be pretty difficult, since you'll probably get a four-star wanted level as soon as you go in there. So Zami doesn't own a hangar, but I do, so we should be able to land here. It should be okay. Yeah, seems like it's okay. So we need to go to that control tower up there. So at Fort Sankudo Tower 1, you can just go in here, now, just like that. Someone just got stuck inside a chair, okay, perfectly normal. And now they're after me for some reason. So you can't actually use this lift to be using the mission. So, go up these stairs. I time lapse this because it takes forever to go up here. Okay, so we're finally up here. Oh god, there's still more to go. Didn't realise that. Anyway, oh god, you can go through here. So this is a little control tower as well, which on the side of the building. It's like exciting again, it's not that big, but it's a secret. So let's keep going up here. Oh yeah, we need to blend in with these people, so we need to change to this outfit. There we go. Should be good now. So anyway, this is the top bit, so this is probably the coolest part of it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, you can see different planes taking off, landing as well. Yeah, it's pretty nice up there. So this bit here, where I was here a minute ago, you actually go in this as well. No. To call this maybe like server room. The computer things are. Some computers here. Some lockers. A few more computers. Energy stuff. Whatever. Don't really care. Yes, yeah, so that's trying to make our way down now without being killed. So you can also go in here down the bottom as well. Looks like it's some sort of school here. Combat training, something like that for the army. Oh god, this guy's here. Oh. Okay, well, I died. Thing gonna die, thing gonna die, thing gonna die. Let's try and get in here.
I don't know how we just got away, but I think we have. Yeah, we made it. That was that was something. So the next place is up in Polito Bay. So we're just gonna use the deluxe so to fly around for a bit. And I think it's over here somewhere. Just flying over this bit here. So it should be just coming up now. And yep, it's just here. So you can actually go in here. Let's jump oh jumped out like that for some reason. So in here, you've got some boxes and crates. Again, it's not that exciting at all, but it's a little secret. You can get a good advantage point and people attacking you, things like that. You can hide out from griefers again, like some other places. Yes, yeah, pretty cool place. Okay, so the next place we're going to is over here. It's just over here by LSC. Like garage, whatever one you call it. Oh god, no. But I think you can actually get through the door here. Yep, you can. Just go in here. There's a little bit here you can go in, like a little office. And then you can go down here and go into this garage bit here. With the same LSE guy that looks exactly the same as every other worker for some reason. So now I'm going to show you a little shack on a Polito Cove island. So I think we're coming up to the islands now. It might be this one. I can't exactly remember what one it is. No, it's not this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it is. So, on this island's just here. Oh, sure. Oh, landed on someone. So, these are the islands here. So, this is it there. So apologies to the guy that I just landed on. Um, uh, let's, let's. I was gonna set you on fire, send you, give you a good send off, but oh well. Um, yeah, so this is this little shack here, little shed. You can go in it. It's quite cool. And yeah, it's a pretty good secret. Good hiding spot as well. Yeah, it's a pretty nice island. Okay, I'm starting to feel sorry for this guy, so let's try and get him on the fire. Give him a good send off. Right. Yes, we're going on the fire. Yes, alright. Okay, see you, mate. Goodbye. I'm back, back in the uh, Deluxo. I'll go and show you guys the next place. So, this place is back the other side of Polito. And it's actually a little pipe you can go in. It's really, really small, but it's quite a cool little place. So I believe this pipe is on the beach. Yes, this is it over here. By this little campsite place. So I'm just gonna land on these people here. Fine. Right, so the pipe is over here. Oh, go away, I don't need you. Oh, one to level, for God's sake. So anyway, this is the pipe over here. If you want to find it yourself, it's just by this little circle here. Just there. So it's really, really small, as I said. It's stuck. Yeah, you can go in it. Run along to the end. So it's not really a big secret, well it's kind of secret, I mean it's not very exciting, but yeah I count this as a secret as well. And grape seeds, just there, oh, loading, just there on the map, 
there is a store here and you can go inside this so if you smash the window you know, gun or explosive not that just like that I just made a clean hole okay yeah if you break the window God's sake, so much glass. You can go inside. So this isn't that exciting again like the others, they're all like boring ass places. But yeah, they're pretty cool secrets. And the vending machine here. This fatty is probably just gonna st stay here for a while and just drink all the fizzy things you can. What is this? Is it like sprunk or something? I don't know. Which is quite a cool place to get advantage points over people as well. Have some good cover here as well. Yeah, this is another secret. So at this location here, near the LAMOC, it's just there. This house here, the blue one, you can go inside. Even though it is absolutely tiny. Let me get my torch out. There we go. So it's really, really cramped in here. It looked like a bit bigger, but yeah, it's another secret place that not many people know about. Now let's go on to the next play place. Also, there is a playing card here. So if you're a collectible kind of person, it should be just there. So now we just got the yacht from over there, the place where we last were. We are gonna go over to Stab City, where there's a caravan you can go in. And it's just there. So you're now pulling up to the trailer park in the LMOC. Beautiful morning today. So we're nearly there. Going a little bit fast, so we'll probably end up on land. Yep, we're okay, right. Let's get out. And Go over this gate here. I don't want the weapons menu. So you just go over here to this caravan here. So there's a guy here, don't know what he wants. You go in here, and there are molotovs that would spawn here. They're not spawning now because we were already taken them earlier. But yeah, they should spawn there. And yes, yeah, this is the next secret. It's not that obvious that there's place in here. This guy's angry at me for some reason. Like, why are you angry? Don't take your gun out, mate. Oh, okay. Yep. That works too. Yes, yeah, this is a cool secret. Like the others. Yeah, so I think that almost concludes it for all the secrets. Okay, so the next bit is by Humane Labs, which is just down there. But the cave is here. So when you go inside, it's quite a cool little cave in here. There's a boat in here. People have probably been in. I think there's a weapon down there. Let's jump out and see if we can find that. So where was it? It was this secret beach over here. So what weapon is this? I think this is the AK. AK-47. Which is the assault rifle. Yep, yeah, it's this one here. So, yeah, it's quite a nice place in here. You get a free weapon. You still have to purchase the ammo, but it's quite good to have a free weapon in here. So, that's almost it for all the secrets. Now, I'm just going to show you one more bonus little secret place you can go in. So, down here, just there on the map, quite close to where we were last time, there is a tank down here you can go in. But make sure you have notifications on and you're subscribed. So I'll be releasing a, releasing a video soon where I explore the ocean and everything in it. And there's something here which I will do. And I think it is quite a nice little spot. So let's change into the scuba suit. There. And let's go down. There's a little pipe there. Is down here. So I might as well, now I'm down here, I might as well just show you guys now what it is. 
in the video in the future, I will show you some other things. Voice crack. So, I think it's down here. Yes, and there is a gate here, so in offline, you do a mission here when you have to go into your main labs. And online as well, where you have to go in there. That's one of the heist, uh, the heist missions. Yes, yeah, so this is an entrance to Humane Labs, and yeah, it's it's really really cool. Like being under the ocean is pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed and found this interesting. I really like doing these sort of videos; they're quite fun to do. So subscribe with notifications on, and I should be really seeing the ocean one soon. I'll probably enjoy that quite a lot, and hope you guys will too. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.